Hello everyone out there on YouTube, this is John, back again with another review. Today I'm going to be doing a hot little ramen. You might uh, be familiar with this symbol and these colors, this is Ichiran. Um, I did a video maybe a year or two ago where I did their instant uh, packs. And they had two varieties, they had like a pillow pack, that's in your typical like square ramen pack um, with the the folded over square of curly noodles and then another one had like a straight sleeve of straight noodles and then the interiors were different where one of them had like this big pack of uh, broth mixture and one of them had uh, like an ABC combination of packs well recently and this is weird because it's saying it's like, oh, Ichiran's making their very first instant ramen. But it's not true, because, of course, I've had those before. This is their first bowl. Um, and in this bowl, this is what the lid looks like. And uh, my noodles don't look exactly like that. The, the noodles don't all line up in a straight up-and-down fashion like they do in this picture. And the uh, the red glop kind of like trickle down to the bottom of the bowl. Uh, I don't know if you could see that, but like the uh, the spice mixture sank. Is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, this one is similar to the one I had that had the ABC, but I think they've updated it. So A comes in a brown package this time. I think the other time there were just all there were two white, a black and a white, and then the red one. So you have A. This was a powdered one. I tasted it. It tastes like uh, chicken and onions. I want to say. I'm not sure exactly if there's chicken in the broth. I think it's pork. But like the flavor I got there, I mean, it was just like an umami meaty flavor. Um, then you have the B packet, which is in a white color. This had liquid in it, and this tasted amazing when I just got a little bit of the oil. It's like this very f rich, porky flavor. It's delicious. And then you have the C-Pack. The C-Pack for this one, different than the, the uh, one I had before. The other one was like a powdered pepper. Um, so it sat on top like a little powder. This one was more oily, like a paste. I think that's why it's so heavy. It sank to the bottom. But this looks really good. It's really... Um, let's see if I can get a good shot here. Really cloudy looking. A good tonkatsu should look. Come back up. There we go. And we center. That's yeah, gonna be good as we can do. Um, but what I'm gonna do is mix that uh, spice in there throughout. You can see these are more of a straight style noodle, even though like when they were in the bowl they were all kind of like curled in a spiral. When they became soft again they really straightened up uh, which is the noodle that they're uh, more famous for at their store they're famous for like a straight noodle um, get my spoon get a taste of the soup in I didn't dress this up like I did the last one but if you want some simple instructions about how to dress yours up like they do there it's on another video. Plus, on that one, the package looked like that. This one, the package looks like this. Just noodles and some spice. And that's what I have here. And man, is it good. Oh. Delicious. Very rich, creamy, umami, porky goodness. 
and that red spice mix in here just the right amount could be a little bit spicier oh and the smells from this thing it smells like I've been boiling pork bones for days The noodles have a good chew to them. They're not flimsy. They don't get, they're not soggy. They have a clean bite through. Super tasty. They have a, a thick gauge to them. You can almost see when you look at the noodles. I don't know if you'd see it, uh, especially when I'm holding it up against a, a chopstick that's black. The outer edges of the noodle look translucent, but the center core of it still has like this dark white color, which tells you like there is softness on the edge, but it still has a, a good core of strength. I'm kind of upset I only have one of these bowls. As you can see though, the instructions, the ingredients, this is all in Japanese characters. This was meant to be sold in Japan, not for Americans or outsiders. This was purchased from eBay from a lovely person in Japan. I'm so glad they sent it. If you're going to have a simple bowl of ramen that's just the broth and noodles, you can't get better than this. Okay. We're going to give this a, re a review, and we're going to turn this video off because I'm about to demolish this bowl of noodles. The Ichiran bowl of instant noodles. They could have added like maybe a meat sachet or something in here and then you get into the weeds when you think about what they could do. We're gonna give this a 9.8 out of 10. When it comes to instant bowls of ramen, just noodles, just broth, with all the flavor and spices that's just in those two elements. You can't really do better. 9.8 because I'm leaving room for improvement and really the only thing you can do to improve here is have more like, I don't know, meat or vegetables in there. But uh, as is, you can't improve on what's here. You can add to it but you can't improve on what's already here. That's why I'm giving it a 9.8 out of 10. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If uh, you see this on eBay, you should definitely try it out. If you're in Japan, you should definitely try it out. And you should buy more and send them to people here in America so they can try it, please. Or Ichiran, if you're seeing this, make it a US version. Import it over here. It will sell out because it's just that good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, thumbs up. We'll see you on any video I do in the future. Or maybe even the past, because there's plenty of videos out there for me in the past. And maybe you're going to see those next. So you'll see me then. But it will be my past and your future. See you in my past and your future. Later.